Hello and welcome. I'm Dr. Unkar Swami, represent a research group from India. I'm a corresponding author for an article, Efficacy and Safety of Ferric Carboxymaltose in Management of Iron Deficiency Anemia, a multi-center real-world study from India. Iron deficiency anemia is an important public health problem, not only in India, but also in many countries in Southeast Asia. Oral iron is a common treatment, but in many situations, oral ions are inappropriate and inadequate. IV iron, particularly FCM, which is a third generation iron, has proven efficacy and safety with a lot of convenience in administration at real life scenario. So there is a paucity of a data, particularly in Asian Indians about the usage of FCM in real life scenario. So we performed uh, this study with the objective to assess efficacy and safety of intravenous ferric carboxymaltose in adolescents and adults with iron deficiency anemia. This was a multi-center retrospective observational real world study across 269 centers in India. Data was analyzed for hematological parameters at baseline and after four weeks, we also analyze physicians' clinical assessment of efficacy and safety of FCM. So this graph represents efficacy. Our study comprised of one of the largest cohort of involving 1,800 patients who received IV FCM. IV FCM reported significant increase in hemoglobin of 2.76 grams per deciliter and serum ferritin of 35.85 microgram per liter within four weeks of treatment. There was a significant improvement in all severity of anemia, like mild, moderate, and severe. There was also improvement in serum ferritin in mild, moderate, and severe anemia. And all this improvement was statistically significant at the same time, very meaningful at clinical situation. Commonly noted adverse events were nausea, headache, constipation, allergic reaction, and diarrhea. No serious adverse event was reported in any of the subject, and we do not note any signal for unusual adverse effect throughout the study period. Physicians' assessment of efficacy and safety of FCM also reported very good to good efficacy in 97.5% of the patient and very good to good safety in almost 97% of patient. Thus, our study conclude that FCM is efficiently, safely, and quickly corrects moderate to severe anemia in Indian patients in a short span of four weeks. And it may be useful in treating mild anemia if indicated. Physicians' positive clinical opinion in favor of efficacy and safety supports usage of FCM in daily clinical practice. We feel FCM is important for the correction of iron deficiency anemia in resource limiting setting. Thank you for your patient listening and we look forward for your comments and views. Thank you very much.